Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome back to another video podcast. This is Misa. This is Yuka. Um, and welcome to our Misa Yuka podcast brought to you by Yuka's Coasters. Yuka made these really cool coasters recently and it's really nice and we're gonna like use it. Yep. Like that. Just out for two people. <laughs> so, and yep. DM they want to get it, but okay, you must know that DM could I say, please give me a direct message on Instagram if you would like these coasters. coasters. Thank you. So, okay, so, anyways, today we're going to be talking about burnout. Yes, burnout. Burn burnout. Like, I think, okay, I'm not gonna lie. Uh huh. I think I was burnt out last, like, the past two weeks. I think me too. Yeah, I think we were both kind of burnt out. Like, not gonna lie. Yeah. And I think I was kind of burnt out, like, end of September, but I kept on going. Right, but I was burnt out and I stopped going. <laughs> no, you were kind of, ke- like, you were still kind of going. Was and I? then I think I got really burnt out, like, the last two weeks or something. Oh. Yeah. I feel like I don't really like I don't really um, recognize myself as I as burnt out when I'm actually burnt out. Yeah. Um, And so I just like keep on going. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I was like we were really burnt out. Yeah. I feel like our whole house had like burnt out energy. Yeah. This whole house (laughs) was like we were like dead. We didn't like each other. Yeah. We were like actually having fights. Yeah. Because we were burnt out. No. Because like you. No, you were like, y- you just had like bad vibes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm offended. I'm literally offended. You literally had like really bad vibes, and like you would kind of like not be in a good mood all the time. So I have to be kind of like get you in a good mood, you know? That's not true. Y- yeah, it was. <laughs> I don't think it was, like, that, just, like, the burnout part. I feel like I was being annoyed <laughs> by you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I felt like you were really annoyed. But I your... think it was because you were burnt out. <laughs> <laughs> it was because your finger. <laughs> yeah, like, I have, I have, like, a little cut in my finger, which, it's like... It's not little. It's very big. Yeah, it's, like, big. And then, like, um, that is, like, not allowing me to touch the dishes. I can't do the dishes. Right. Right now, like, I need to put on gloves, but, like, even moving my finger hurts. So, I'm, right. like, having Yuka do all the dishes for me right, right. now. She produces a lot of dishes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, made um, a lot of food one day. Uh-huh. And then I left the house, and the Misa was there for the whole day. And then um, there were a lot of dishes that was, like, produced. (laughs) By Misa. By Misa. I know. I wish I could do the dishes. I miss doing the dishes, man. (laughs) Really? Well, anyways, okay, so, like, how many... Do you get burnt out easily? Uh, I do. I think you do. I think I do. You do. I got burnt out in my architecture school. Yeah? Yeah. I think it's, like... Um, this, like, go, go, go mindset Uh is really, I can focus on that, but then once that, like, kind of goes away, Uh I kind of sit back and I'm like, I can't do that again. (laughs) Yeah, I know, like, I think, like, yeah, I think you're, like, a really chill person. Yeah. Normally, like, you kind of like to, you're, like, a homebody. I'm not a homebody. Oh, right, right, actually, no, that, that's not That's not the right word. Right. I think I'm a couch potato. I, no, I think I think you you like to do things very like like neatly like tenani. Mm-hmm. You know, so like your pace is like not as fast. I think you 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 do everything like very very in a calm manner. Right. Not like me like I pace myself. I'm like or I don't pace myself. Like I do it in a very quick speed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like do things very quickly. Um and I burn out really quickly, but, like, you tend to just take your time making right. stuff, right? And, right. um, but then you also, like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like you just get out of energy very quickly. I think for the video 
creation part, um, I was burnt out just, I was burnt out with the subtitles. You're right, subtitling? Yeah, like, subtitling. the Japanese thing, like, the Japanese ones, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. that was not my style. Yeah, I think you were just burnt, yeah. And I, I, yeah. I think it's, like, I get burnt out when I don't like to do, a, like, the thing. Yeah. You know? Like, I have to do it, but, like, but that's, like, not, like, the creative part that I'm, like, looking for. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think you're, like, more of, like, the aesthetics and stuff. I'm more of, like, the... I like doing the subtitles and, like, I like doing, like, the fun cuts and stuff. Like, yeah, the funny cuts. Yeah, the cuts are fun, yeah. I think. Yeah. But, like, I think you got burnt out with the second video that you produced. after Really? The second, yeah. With the subtitling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could tell that you were really burnt out after, like, editing two videos and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, welcome to content creation. I think, I honestly think it's the subtitling. I don't understand. Yeah. Like, like people can understand Japanese. Yeah. But I I understand, like, you might be on the train and you can't listen to it without the subtitles, right? I don't know. Yeah. But I do get burnt out pretty easily. Yeah, you do. Like, yeah, your stamina. (laughs) But I, I don't. But I, like, did architecture for five years, uh-huh. and then I got burnt out. Oh, you got, I got burnt, burnt out? I got burnt out, I think, I... the fourth year. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get, like, snippets of burnout, like, maybe yeah. one or two days, and then uh-huh. I get back up really quickly. And then you can do the same thing? Yeah, 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 I'll do the really? same thing. Really? I get traumatized, actually. Really? Yeah, I, th- I think, like, you don't want to do it, but I'm like, okay, let's, like, let's just do it, and then I do it. <laughs> Like, the recent, the one before the video. Which video? Like, the video creation. I got burnt out when I was making, like, a new service with, like, apps. Oh, right. For, for my like, job. For, your job, yeah. Like, I was doing that all, I think I was doing that all by myself. Mm-hmm. And I just, like, cannot imagine myself doing that all over again. Like, that traumatizes me. That, like, scares me. So, like, I feel like... I think it's because, like, it's the things that you don't want to do that oh, right, much. right. Like, for, like, the stuff that I do, like, I want to do it. So, like, I would, I would like, try to find a more efficient way to, like, not feel burnt out so quickly. But I would do it again. So, I guess if you're doing the things that you love, mm-hmm. then you won't get burnt out. No, I, th- I think... Yeah, or I think, like, you can get burnt out, but then, like, you always get back up and then find new ways to do it right so that you feel like you feel more joy doing it i feel like when you feel burnt out you just feel like you're just kind of like um you're just like kind of going towards something that you don't even know what you're going towards right right and that's why you get burnt out and then like even with like content creation like um when you're like when you don't really know what you're uh-huh. why you're doing it like right. if you don't know your why it's kind of easy for you to get burnt out and be like okay what am i doing you know right and that's what that's when like burnout happens i think yeah i think i was like really um outcome based instead of like enjoying the process of the creative flow yeah 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 i yeah that's true i yeah i think i enjoy the creative process or like, yeah, I enjoy the process or like the journey yeah I feel like I needed to really switch into the mindset of like the process mm-hmm. like loving the process instead of like like um heading towards an outcome yeah yeah you know with like our ske- like um content schedule mm-hmm. like we had to produce like <laughs> there was like a outcome right we were like going for producing like three content a week <laughs> that's so much that's a lot (laughs) and it was like the podcast the podcast like is really like it's it's like we just sit and talk yeah or you know whatever like 30 40 minutes yeah um we're actually making it like um shorter now yeah Um, but yeah and then we like edit like video like one video for like per person so it'll be three videos a week yeah but that was like too much actually yeah i thought that was like a lot but like as like a newbie i cannot estimate like you know how much work that would take. right right that's um, true i feel like if you like if you get used to it you can do more yeah like just like one because that's like one video a week right yeah so it means that producing one video a week is kind of like it's a lot of effort yeah 
it is i think it is and i think like yeah. when you start youtube and stuff um people are like oh you need to produce one video a week yeah i think that's maybe that that might be kind of hard yeah i think so too and i think uh-huh. another thing i think i was like kind of like aiming for this kind of like perfection uh-huh oh right which makes like the hurdle really high right but um yeah just lowering it down yeah i think was... like you were just like a, yeah because like you're like one of your first few videos uh-huh. i was like really shook about like how well it was done and really? it was your first time yeah it was really good i thought it was really good yeah it was similar to what misa produces yeah <laughs> just kidding it was so similar to like my style i'm just kidding but yeah i think you were so good and i was like you had all these like effects and like sound effects and stuff um and maybe like that made you burned out (laughs) (laughs) yeah i mean yeah i think it's like um i wasn't really trying to like you know going through the creative process and like finding my style and like the things you know the sounds that make me happy uh-huh. I was kind of, like, going for the outcome of, like, oh, I need to produce something similar to Misa's style. Right. So that it's, like, all, like, you know. In unison. In, yeah, in unison. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think that's, like, the way we want to go, right? Yeah, we don't want to go that way anymore. Yeah, because, like, then, like, Yuka's, like, amazing talents <laughs> will be washed away by my weird funkiness. You know? Like, we want Yuka. <laughs> 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 I'm just like really no I think I think I just want to make something that's like imperfect right right I think like you yeah you literally strive for perfection like th- yeah. like today like you look perfect really yeah and I think you strive for perfection like that every day really mm-hmm. <laughs> I I <Thanks. laughs> that's cool no that's really true though right I think you strive for perfection I do too. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I feel like everyone wants to strive for perfection. Yeah, I think that's a really good thing. I do strive. I do, but like, I I feel like um, there's a lot of beauty in imperfection. Oh my god, you have to read this book called The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, It is like my, actually, it is my favorite book. Really? Yeah. It is. I mean, and then I also like my, everything's fig- figure outable by yeah. Brene Brown, but that is like, um, uh, not Brene Brown, Marie Forleo. Uh-huh. But The Gifts of Imperfection is the book that you need to read, probably, Yuka. Okay. Yeah. It'll like encourage you uh-huh. to be imperfect and okay, to yeah. embrace imperfection should i download it now i have it i'll give it to you oh, oh really <laughs> yeah oh it's a book book it's a book book but i i only have it in like digital form, um, digital form. but yeah okay yeah i guess that is what i will be reading this winter yeah i think like i think that's a very snuggly book to read in yeah the winter. yeah 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 and i love like the word choices that Brene brown mm. makes it'll really um, it'll. I think it'll help you become like more, more expressive, right? Or like be okay with like your imperfections, right? It like it talks about you know. <laughs> it also talks about burnt out and also really? burnt out and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I think I need to read that. Then yeah, yeah, because yeah. You should read it. I cannot go through a burnout again. You know. Yeah, you will go through a burnout <laughs> again. It's fine. It's totally fine. But embrace the yeah. burnout. But I need to, like, come back, you know, to the same spot again. Yeah, yeah. I feel like after you, like, burn out and stuff, you kind of go a little bit higher, though. Yeah. You kind of, like, reach a higher level. Yeah. Yeah, you know? So, I think, yeah. So, how to, okay, so, how to, like, deal with burnout? How do you deal with it? How 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 to deal deal with with burnout? I actually kind of um, let everything go oh yeah i actually kind of um like accept that i'm having a burnout Mm -hmm. and then i'm like okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna watch netflix tonight right snack on unhealthy snacks right you know like like i just kind of like really let myself loose Mm -hmm. and that's how i deal with my burnout Mm -hmm. i i don't really you know i don't really watch anything right Right. i don't really watch netflix i don't really (laughs) eat junky foods all the time like i like 
I'm actually, I guess I'm pretty self-disciplined in that sense. Mm -hmm. And, but when I'm having a burnout, I just let myself go. And then I just become really undisciplined. Mm. Indiscipline. So I guess when you're eating like sweets and like junky food, I'll be like, oh, Misa's having a burnout. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, it's fine. I like worked really hard. Right. So I deserve it. And then so I just like kind of treat myself mm-hmm. to whatever I want. Mm-hmm. And then I just let go. I'm like, it's fine. I'm having a burnout. I don't need to post a video or like right. I don't need to do all these things. Or if I have a deadline, I'll just tell them, sorry, I'm having a burnout. <laughs> and then, or like, I'm not feeling good. Okay, actually, so, that's a really good idea. So I will have to turn it in like a day late. Right. But that will allow me to, you know, produce better, con- like, quality stuff, mm-hmm. you know? So that's how I actually deal with it. Right. Mm-hmm. What about you? I think I would do the same. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's great to tell people, too, that you're yeah. having a burnout. Yeah. Like, to not keep it in just to yourself. Like, really, like, let other people know. Yeah. And then they'll, like, comfort you, kind of. Or, like, take you, like, you know, on a great journey. Yeah, or, like, tell your friends or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or your sisters. Yeah. Yeah. So, or your, like, parents or something. And just, yeah. And then I think, like, the the main, like, importance is, like, just like embrace it yeah you know it's like you worked so hard to even get that burnout yeah you know people don't you don't get burnt out if you don't like if you're not working really hard that's true right so you got to a point you worked hard enough to get burnt out yeah so yeah you worked really hard so now you have to like give yourself um a gohobi Mm -hmm. which is like a you have to give yourself like a treat you have to really treat yourself do some self-care And then you're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. yeah. This is how you should, like, how we should all deal with burnout. So. Yeah, go on a walk. Yeah, going on walks is really nice. Going on walks is really nice, I think. Like, I feel like when we're burnt out, we were just so focused on, like, the thing that's, like, in front of us. Right. But what we really need to, we need to, like, kind of, you know, connect with the present self. Yeah. You know, which um, going outside really helps. Yeah, going just, like, literally going outside. Um, really asking yourself, like, what you want to eat. Like, what do you really want to eat? Yeah, <laughs> what do you want to eat? Like, because I am this, I'm in this, like, robotic mindset. Right. I'm like, I'll just eat this. Okay. I'm full. It's fine. Right. Like, it has, like, spilled my stomach. And that's, yeah. like, how I live daily, which uh-huh. is, like, sometimes kind of bad. I'm not very being mindful. Mm-hmm. But, like, when you are having a burnout or a... I'm, I try to ask myself, what do I, like, actually want to eat? Whether that's Korean food. Right. Whether that's, like, ramen. Right. Whether that's, like, going out for yakiniku or, like, sushi, mm-hmm. you know? So, yeah. Like, asking, like, really being, like, present. Right. You know, like, being mindful of what yeah. you really want. Like, what will make you happy? Yeah. That's so important. Yeah, to, that's really important. To ask yourself, what will make you happy today? Yeah. And then I'm like, is it, like, me laying in bed? I don't know, like you know, like <laughs> yeah. and if that if that makes you happy, yeah, think, then like, just lay in bed. Yeah, so, yeah. So I guess um, yeah. that's how you should deal with burnout. Yeah. So um, let me let us know in the comments below how you deal with burnout. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we so in sync? <laughs> all okay, right, all right. So um, we're gonna be ending this session. Um, if you want Yuka's coaster, please DM us. It's really cute. They're acrylic. They're with flowers. They yeah. have a little stump in the back. Yeah, we'll send this to so you. So they're kind of floating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we'll send this to you. So it's kind of cool. It's really cute. It's really cute. Yeah, you guys are like a maker of things, so it's kind of cool. It's All really right. Cool so I hope you guys are having a great day. And a great life. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.